things, we end them off with a demo slam. So we're about to show you this demo slam. To give you an idea, we have these speakers lined up that are going to have three minutes to wow you with their favorite tip, trick, song, dance, who knows what's going to happen up here. And at the end of all of this, we're going to fill out a form and you're going to get entered into some, uh, a draw for some awesome prizes that you'll see up here. We'll talk more about those. That link at the top, bit.ly slash dlsim demo slam, dlsim demo slam. Not only is that going to get you the list of presenters coming up, it is also going to get you the link to enter for prizes. Some of you guys are going to be trying to watch us first. Without further ado, Rebecca Martinez is here with us. She is from Austin, Texas. She works with me at the tech team. She is also a salsa dancer, piano playing Latina. Let's <laughs> some salsa Monica. <laughs> Although she said dancing for the demo slam, but it's not happening right now. So <laughs> take that out of your mind completely. All right, you guys, so here we go. I'm just going to drop this into play mode. Three minutes. All right. All right. Now. Right now? Right now? Right now? Oh, yep. No, it doesn't because audio is not working. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. It's okay. It's it's ready to go. It's actually the end. It's going. Oh, I know why. Um, okay. This in itself is a demo song, so I'm going to troubleshoot my own thing. <laughs> now, of course, the sad part's going to be if I get this wrong. <laughs> but see, he's leaving, so he knows I did it right. <laughs> Let's hope. <laughs> All right. Can we test this really quick? Just to yeah. sure. Okay, just like that. Slam! Right? Oh, I just did yeah. hear that yeah. uh, troubleshooting uh, issue. All oh, my mind. All right, here we go, one more time. And time to start. Okay, let's go. Are you guys pitching center, right? One, two, three. Ah, I missed it. Do it again. Ready? Start. Stop! Sliding and presentations have a photo slide. This does it in seconds automatically. 
So really great app to be able to do it. And it is, again, 100% free. How much time do I have? 27 seconds. I still got time. All right, so I do want to show you this really cool feature. I did a really quick search here for my niece. Uh, so if I go into my photo album and just type in her name, it'll do a search for her and you'll find every single picture of her using face recognition software. So I can even find baby pictures of her without necessarily having to sift through the 60, 70, 80,000 photos and videos I have from her, which is instant. The other thing that it does, I'm just gonna go here to assistant, down here in the corner, you can see photo book, movie, collage, animation. Thank you very much. I hope you guys like that. <laughs> and Google Photos is available for Android and iOS, um, so we can all use Google Photos. Next up, this is what we call the dongle dance. We switch computers, we switch devices, so hopefully all will work well while Brian is setting up. I will introduce him. He comes all the way from Abbey Virtual School in Abbotsford. Give it up for a local guy. You will notice that Brian is wearing an EdTech Team t-shirt. Um, we are really fortunate at EdTech Team to have full-time employees, but thankfully we are still connected to classroom educators, people for schools um, that are Work with us, so Brian is from Adobe. We are looking at him and him. Is this on? Yes, yeah. on. Okay, ready to go. And I'm going to start my camera. All right, so this is called Sparks by Identity. It's on Twitter if you need that link. And this is the slide that I'm using right now. But what is Adobe Spark? It's a Web and mobile app system that allows to make graphics and web slides all the time, beautiful, really quickly. Uh, my favorite one, if you were my session, you know, you know that it's a uh, Spark post. I use this almost every day. Twitter, I made posts, I made that 360 photo thing with the banner and the words, and lickety split. We're going to show you how to do that. Um, we're going to also app match. Adobe Spark post with remove.bg, which is like if you green screen, this is going to blow your brain. So moving into that, I got to jump out here and go over to post. I've got my awesome Adobe Spark apps right there on the top row. We're going to jump into post here. Uh, how much am I doing? I got two minutes. I'm doing good. All right. So we're going to jump into post. Now in post, if you need inspiration on design ideas and stuff, it gives you a whole bunch of those. Um, there you can remix and rehash. I've got my post right here, and I'm going to jump into this one here, which is the oh, the demo slammers of the symposium. So we've got our different demo slammers that are here, and we've got Jorge and Aaron. No, that's not Aaron. That is Jeremy joining us, right? So I got to change that over here to Jeremy. Jeremy, like that, done. Hopefully, this spells name with a G. Um, and I need Alex. Alex, can you come stand here and get a picture, please? I need your. I need to take a picture of you right here. Okay, here we go. There, there, there she is. Okay, so we're going to take Aaron's picture. Or, that's Alex. Um, jump over to my website, over to Chrome. Come on. You press select a photo. So what this is using is AI to remove the background out of that picture that I just took. I'm going to go to my photo library, find the picture of Alex that I just took. It'll upload it. Oh, the internet's beautiful right now. It's actually moving. Okay. And how am I doing? I got 42 seconds. We can do this. Uh oh. So it's got that picture of, of Alex. And look, it took that background out of this busy picture with all those colors and said, hey, we're gonna use this picture of Alex. I'm gonna save that to my images, jump back into post over here, say done, add a photo from my photo library of Alex, add, and she goes right in there. I can make her bigger because she's the last one. And I'm gonna order her to be back one level over here, order. Drop her down so that her name is there like that. And I say done. Now I can share this. Oh, it's buzzing. I'm sorry, I'm going over time. Um, 
and say that my camera will. I go back over to my spark or the slides, and here I'm going to edit my slides right here. No, that's not working. Anyhow, I'm going to put that picture that I just made with those transparent backgrounds of the people into my. Oh, where did it go? It's gone, gone. Well, if you look at my little screen here. Yeah. There we go. <laughs> Um, anyhow, so that's my demo slam. There I am. Thank you. Awesome. Fantastic. Let me start. And how to go to the movie website. And he gives us back two awesome tools. Thank you, Brian. We are going to just come like this and plug you in. that. Uh, you. Uh, All right. Uh, I need to tell you a little bit about Demo Slams. See, Demo Slams is they're three minutes, it goes by fast, and it's nerve wracking because technology typically yeah. doesn't work. <laughs> Jeremy's not listening to me right now, but he knows he's really, really nervous. He's never done a demo slam before. What? This is this is like living and learning in action uh, and risk taking. Jeremy comes to us from Indianapolis, Indiana, and he likes curling. There's also a story. Something happened in Kelowna, but they wouldn't give me details. But if you want to ask him later, I'm like, tell you. This is Jeremy, he is from Kansas and has a uh, so, it's just a surprise. It's just a surprise and she kind of probably was told the eyes to do it. Yeah, that's true, right? I just get a lot of told for stuff. Uh, so when I started teaching, uh, the first thing I learned about teaching is everything I learned when I went to, to college was wrong. Um, I learned that children are not little things that I can control with psychology. They're these little crazy things, especially in seventh grade, that don't do what I tell them to do and make lots of mistakes. So I love my seventh graders, but I also learned that seventh graders have lots of problems. And it's not just like they don't like science, it's that when I teach them science and I'm excited about it, that they're not always excited about it. Um, so what I, what I started doing was figuring out ways to do stuff in my classroom when I was playing with different tools. And then my district came in and they said, you need to differentiate. Like, what does that mean? I didn't learn about that in school. Um, so I stumbled up on this wonderful tool called Google back in the day. And I punished myself by installing it on a computer in my room and I enrolled my kids in classes. And it was a blast, right? But the one thing I found was technology helped me we do other things really, really well. Um, so from the campus perspective, what we have is this wonderful tool called Mastery Paths. Um, and I like the way we positioned it because it lets you build adventures for your students in differentiation. So you take something that students are going to do, you attach to that thing what we call a Mastery Path, and it lets the students move on an adventure based on how they're performing. So here I build out these pathways. The students are going to see these when they complete this assignment or this assessment. And the best part is I can give them as much or as little choice as I want. So if my students are doing really, really well, helps when your fingers don't click buttons, I can give them some extension things. Um, if they're doing all right, you know, I can give them an option of one path or another path. And if they're not doing very well, I can give them some activities that help reinforce some of those concepts. When they came to seventh grade science, I had some teachers in sixth grade that didn't really science, um, so I had to do a lot of work with those students. I also had students who had great teachers in sixth grade, so they needed to go a different direction. So using a tool like this, I can build these pathways out. Students go in, they see the options, and then they get to choose, but for me, the best part is I know exactly who which and what so Eric here, I need to go talk to Eric. So he's moving through this pathway, he's trying some things. Um, in this pathway, I have two students, I can see what's going on, but I can also see their programs, they're doing better or if they're not doing better. So a tool like this is, is 
Pricelets because it lets you differentiate, it lets you give students the resources and tools they need um, where they are and help you get them where they need to go. So that's why I love this. I love Canvas. It's, it's, it's a platform that makes things so much easier. Um, and then Aaron is going to like surprise everyone. So we have pandas. The pandas. Oh. We don't have a panda launcher. We don't have a panda launcher, but oh, nice. oh. oh. See that on Aaron? Nice. Oh, yeah. Go Yeah. Oh. All right. Uh, thank you, Jeremy. Thank you, Matt. Thank you, Aaron. And the two guys. And next up, we have Alexander in the background. Alexander represents Microsoft, and she's going to tell us some cool things that Microsoft does. Um, Although Alex lives in Montreal, it is Gartner CLC. She's a BC girl. Grew up, born and raised in Nelson, BC. Where's our Coomies, folks? Let's hear Coomies. I know there's some of you here. Um, Alex is almost ready. And timer's up front there, Alex. Are you set? I have to do a test. Oh, we're doing a test. Okay. Make sure. A reminder, all of these resources, we're, I'll show you the link again at the end, all of these resources we'll give to you so that you can go back and learn more about these cool tools. And Alex is set to be away. We're going. Okay, so, hello everybody. Um, how many of you have students in your class that speak more than one language? How many of you speak more than one language? Okay, awesome. How many of you have students in your classroom that struggle to read in either of the languages or any of the languages that they speak. Okay, so reading can be something that's very hard for our students. So what I'm here to show you today is a tool called an immersive reader. So you can find this across the Microsoft platform, you can find this in Word, you can find this in OneNote, and what this will do is it will pull all of the text out of your image and it will give you a super friendly read. Or use this tool for our students. First of all, if you have any students that are domestic, size larger. And two, we can actually bump up the station, which is the letter in the lines. You want to follow along, it's a lot easier to read. Second thing that we can do, we can change the font. So we can put in a font that looks like students' writing. And the third thing that we can do in this mode is actually change the background. When I was a classroom teacher, I taught to a little student who could only read white on black. So here we go. Any students that are colorblind, welcome to putting whatever color they want. Second thing that we can do, syllables. We can actually get this to show nouns, our verbs, our adjectives, our adverbs, and label everything that we're doing. Welcome to reading in the 21st century. Final thing that we can ask this to do is actually help us, ADD students, ADHD, part-time reading, two many lines, Let's get them to focus on one line at a time. Yeah. Amazing. We've actually got a picture dictionary. I don't know what spoken looks like. When they click on spoken, there you go. I don't know what English looks like. I don't know what being is. I wonder if blue all in French will show you've got a couple of different options there. Then you've also got a translate feature. You can make this go from one language to another. And the final thing that this can do, which I think is kind of insane, is this. Here is an example of American English being spoken. A vaincre sans péril, en triomphe, sans gloire. It can read multiple languages at once. We don't have to change our document from English to French, French back to English. It will We'll do it in all of these different languages. If I've got something that now looks a little bit messy and I want to go back to my original document, don't worry, it doesn't actually change anything on the home page. Everything looks the same. I've got 14 seconds, I've got one last thing to show you. I've written this in French. I want you guys to be able to read this in English so I can actually go through and translate this entire thing into, let's go to English. Canada, where are we? The entire document, original, and now I've got the English one as well. Live translation, okay? So that's that, it's the immersive reader inside the Office 365 platform. Yeah.
closing out, we work before we really co presented Google and uh, Microsoft sessions together. And it's been so fun learning from Alex about all of the great tools that are available on Microsoft. Thank you, Alex. Share with you some freedom. Yeah. I'm George Marcinus. Some of you had on the evening for his. He is going to talk about pretty cool Apple stuff and iOS. Um, I do have a bio for George. George is a father of three, a lover, a fighter, a kung fu master on Mortal Kombat. He teaches, he preaches, he does tech and everything he does. He believes that education should be fun. And if we aren't engaged, why should they be? George Barson, it's take away. All right, so good job reading that. All right, so here's what I want to do. Uh, this is actually for Brian. So right now I'm going to record my screen again because I'm setting this for Brian when we're done. This is actually my dedication to him. So if you guys would say, hi, Brian. Hi, Brian. Okay, Brian, this is for you. All right, so here's what we're going to do. I have been just going to it because I don't know if you guys remember yesterday. Um, I love this. So right now, uh, this is called Apple Clips. You can take video. And so uh, those of you that were on the, I'm not going to show the whole thing because some of this stuff is private. But uh, <laughs> uh, I can uh, so record my vote. I muted a little bit, got crazy, and I'm going to stop it here just so that people uh, are, but you guys have a video and want to watch it. But anyway, so here's here's Brian. I don't know if that's Brian said this, but Brian kind of got me with this comment. If you have an Apple right, strawberry favorite product. <laughs> I was not like, you're like this right now. And then also, you know what I noticed? Because I went through this and I heard it and I saw it, you know, he has an Apple device on in his pocket showing up and he's using an Apple device to present. So he's using a product to do amazing things. So he left about to at 4 a.m. I said, hey, Brian, do you know that there's a thing called Mug Life? And Mug Life allows you with your phone to add anchor points on images. So when you do on him, any photo can be able to move. So for those of you who are wondering how I made my parents move, made it real when you guys can see them. Usher, when he's doing his thing, or for us, when we do President's Day or any famous person, the moment they can move, our kids are engaged, it's awkward, they believe that these people matter. <laughs> now, my talking pet, you guys never see this, it's actually meant for like animals, but we use it for actual people. So now that when I make the bigger move, I can make them talk. So right now you guys talk, Brian. I write these out for my kids. I hit play. I have spied for you. I lied for you. Who opened the danger for you? Everything's secure. Now you tell me I've been raising him like a pig for slaughter. So for our students, when they do this, I tell them to get into character. I tell them to not worry about that they're going to be on film. I tell them to act out the part. Wait till you see Macbeth done this way when the kids are able to use the writing and hit it with inflection. Now, I have so many of these. I had another one right now. This might not be a big one for you, but then we use historical figures this way. Now, I use ditties. I sat down last time, did a ton of ditties. I did a ditty for Brian on the way home, but that's private. I'm not going to share that with you. But I'm going to use this one. Ditties allow you to type out each day and you make it a song. So we teach adverts as well. <laughs> Now, you're not going to get these out of your head. These are going to stick in your head. <laughs> but isn't that what we want in kids' heads? And for those of you that are math teachers, Now, I know right now I would play this one and say thank you, vote for me, but we're not voting because it would be a landslide. So, I want to do this for you. Guys, Ryan, Ryan, this is dedicated to you. I know now. I know now. And for those that want to know all that stuff that's on there, it's VIG.LY. Ryan was wrong, and he, I let him in a little bug back for you. So, thank you. All right, guys, thank you. <laughs> oh, so fun, George. Thank you. Now, 
uh, about a vote. Typically, we do have a vote, and we vote for the best of plan. But one thing that we recognize about this conference, you guys are all winners. We're all winners. But we can have Microsoft here, and Google, and Apple, and Canvas, and Moodle, and everyone that is here. We can all recognize the amazing tools at our fingertips. It's fabulous. And so we are not going to vote. We are all winners. One thing you might be saying is, oh, wait, Michelle, wasn't there one more person on that list for the demo slam? Whoops. We are going back here. That one last person down at the bottom, that's me, but I'm actually going to show you my demo slam when we oh, are drawing the prizes. So I have to go into my form. I am opening up my form. You may now enter the win some prizes, B-I-G.L-Y D Elson prizes, if you type that in. It is a Google form. This is going to be a letter that you are writing to yourself. This morning's keynote mentioned letters in the future. You're going to write a letter that we're going to send you to remind you. But that is also going to enter you into the draw. Um, Chris, while we're doing this, can we get a little bit of that copy you were playing earlier? I don't know if I put him on the spot. By the way, hats off to Chris for the great audio and music. If you cannot get to this link, put up your hand, we'll come around and help you out. We've got lots of helpers. The link at the bottom, bit.ly slash DL SIP prizes should get you the ability to. If you can't do it, maybe we have extra Please don't too long. Oh, someone asked, can I enter duplicates add on to Google Sheets? Did I forget to mention that part? Do not enter more than once, or I will embarrass you. <laughs> Throw up your hand if you're having trouble voting. George, Alex can help you out. <coughs> ah, there's our music. Thanks, Grant. This music, by the way, this is, is this dramatic, Chris? It's so dramatic. Is this music that Chris has been playing? I love it. It's one of my ahas. Dramatic.
Over there, nice job. Whether it's like a T, you're putting back to Brenna G. Where are you, Brennan? John. Was it? Oh, was it Marina? Marina N? Let's just see. It is. Oh, good. Uh, Brenna G, are you here? So good. No, these are now from Canvas. We have some giveaways on behalf of Canvas. Teresa McClinton. There you are. I don't know if Amanda does. You also get a compliment of Canvas. We have Todd ah, Dirk Meyer. Way right back. We got Dirk. Can we give her a piece too? Oh, yeah. All this stuff. Sure. We have a few more. Oh, we got a couple of mice to give away. What's this? Oh, it's smartphone hug holder. Smartphone hug holder goes to Melody. Where are you? And then we got a couple of things. Oh, a speaker. Bluetooth speaker, Lauren Walker. Where are you, Lauren? It's Lauren with screen hits. We have a cordless mouse, cordless mouse. Keep rock. Get that cordless mouse. We have a super sweet Microsoft backpack filled with Microsoft goodies. Microsoft backpack goes to Thomas D. Uh, Excellent. 
Randy, is there anything else you want to say before we give away the last prize? Because something often happens is people stop paying attention when there's no prizes. <laughs> <laughs> no, by the way, uh, all right. Yeah, thank you for that. <laughs> uh, but also, I just really moment and just really say thank you to Randy for organizing this whole thing, helping him out, and Portia helping out for all the people. Last kick. Last kick, same day. That's fine. All right. Last prize. This is where we need, like, George calls it rain, you can call it drum roll. Drum roll, please. Boom. I love it. And the rain. Laura Delenko, congratulations. Thank you, Oscar. So I hope you can see you next year. April 1921, don't forget the evaluation. I'll send an email out to you for staff for all that information. And you'll let you start to look at it. Hey, guys, on the table, please. Thanks. Yeah,